So today I talked about a Ford with the U0422 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford U0422 code? Well, it's the invalid data received from body control module. And what does this mean? Well, vehicles can have multiple computers inside of them. They could have an engine control module, a powertrain control module, a transmission control module, and they can also have what's called a body control module. And each one of these computers is controlling different things. So for example, like an engine control module, that would be controlling all the engine functions like injectors, timings, O2 sensors, things along these lines. And a body control module is going to be controlling all the electronics inside the body. So this is going to be things like power windows, alarms, immobilizer systems, different things like this. And when you get a U0422 code, there's some kind of issue going on with that body control module. The other computers are seeing that there's some kind of problem going on and they're not able to communicate with it. And all these computer modules, they all need to talk to each other. They all need to communicate. And to do this, they use what's called the CAN bus, which stands for controller area network. And basically all this is, is it's all the wires running around to all the different computer modules. You could kind of think of the CAN bus like ethernet that's run through a home for computers and the router and different things like this to talk to each other. It's all the wires that are run to everything along with right where they plug in. So if you are working on your vehicle and you hear the words CAN bus, all that is, is it's all the wires that run around to all the different computer modules. And one thing to note about this U0422 code is that this code is manufacturer and vehicle specific. So if you have another vehicle and you're getting a different definition on your scan tool, or you go to look it up and you're getting a different definition for what this code means, then be sure to follow that because not all OBD2 codes are universal across all manufacturers. There can be differences for what the code means depending on the manufacturer. And this is one of those codes. So if you do get a different definition, be sure to pay attention to what that is. And so what would be some possible causes of a U0422 code? Well, the first thing to go and do is go check your battery. Be sure that it's good. Just check all your terminal connections. Be sure they're good, that there's no corrosion or anything like this going on. Because all these computer modules, they all need a good stable power supply in order to work correctly. And then if they don't, then that's going to cause issues. It's going to cause problems. So first thing to do, go be sure that your battery's good. The next thing that could cause this is a bad alternator. If the alternator is overcharging or undercharging or anything like this, if it's not putting out the correct voltage, then that can also throw these computers off. If you have a multimeter, you can start up the vehicle and check to see what the voltage is at the battery. And with the vehicle running, most vehicle alternators are going to put out around 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts. It can vary a bit, so you need to look up what your alternator rated output is. But 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts is fairly common. And if it's lower than this, or if it's higher than this, then there likely is some kind of issue going on with the alternator, and you can look at it more. But the next thing that can cause this is going to be a bad alternator. Another thing that could cause this is a blown fuse. So you can check to see which fuses are related to that body control module on your particular Ford and go and check and be sure that they're not blown or anything like this because that also would affect the power supply going to the computer. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue going around between all the computers or at the body control module itself and the wiring harness or something's going on here like an open, a short, there's like a bad connection going on or something. If you can locate that body control module, you can't be sure that all those connections look like they're good, that everything looks like it's plugged in. Trying to troubleshoot a wiring problem can be kind of problematic. It can be hard to do. You will need to get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle and start checking for any opens or shorts and things like this. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be that that body control module just fell, that it's just gone bad, it just needs to be replaced. One thing that happens with these computers sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, is that when they go bad, you can actually get burnt components on the board. So if you could go around that body control module and you could smell some kind of burnt components on it, then you know that it's bad and needs to be replaced. So another thing that happens sometimes with these computers is that they all need a good ground wire going around each one of them or else it could throw them off and could cause issues. So if you think it's got a bad ground wire, then quite often you could jumper to it with a jumper and then jumper off to a good ground and then just see if the problem clears. But if there is a bad body control module, sometimes it can be hard to troubleshoot. This is like the wiring. When you go to deal with the wiring or the body control module, it can get kind of difficult when you're trying to troubleshoot them. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad body control module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with U0422 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.